hey guys so this is the s20 fe 5g that i bought for about 38k i know a lot of people are curious to know the pricing details so i will show you all the details along with my raw impressions about this and uh, whether it's worth getting it at about 40k or not so if you're new to the channel subscribe like this video guys let's begin so i bought this from amazon the price was about 48k but there was a 6000 coupon available so I applied it and also in addition to that I applied 1500 SBI card discount so it came down to 40,500 rupees but I chose the 12 month no cost EMI which is very good and uh, the saving was about 3000 so the effective price is about what you can see 37 change even if I invest the same amount 40k around 40-50k in FD I should definitely get about two three thousand rupees so the effective price is about 38k i can say that also you can get it from the samsung store uh, for about 38,500 rupees i made a video on that you can check it out along with my referral links anyway let's look at the box contents so in the box you're getting the phone itself and the phone actually has a pre-applied screen protector anyway you have the sim ejector tool and also you have the user manual as well and the first impressions I saw some dust and uh, I'm being very suspicious these days because of the past experiences so anyway I took out the phone just to uh, take a picture of this uh, for a, from a different angle and you can see here the dust in this video and also on the pictures but turns out it's normal because of the applied screen protector maybe the dust piled up apart from that the phone looks pretty normal I peeled off the IMEA sticker and uh, looks pretty much fresh anyway in the box you're also getting the 15 watt charger which is a bummer i mean it's a bit of a shame from samsung anyway also i was expecting some sort of dongle here a usb type c dongle but it just turns out to be some normal compartment in the box so anyway you're also getting the type c to type pa cable not the type c to type c so that's pretty much it so when you first boot it up and set it up be careful and take some time out because based on this you may or may not get ads so always kind of disable the marketing and other stuff and only just tick the essential stuff so anyway this is the free storage as you can see this is the 128 gb model and uh, you can do the math so there is about 20 30 gb sort of uh, used to almost 25 gb you can say so this is running on the one ui 3 with android 11 so actually there is an update it's about 1.8 gb so i got to update this so the color of the device is very subtle and like very light it's called the cloud mint and i like the color but it's not like on your face and even the outdoor visibility seems to be pretty decent at least here indoors we'll have to check out outdoors in the direct sunlight so i got to talk about the plastic bag I mean I wasn't expecting it but this almost feels like a glass back I mean I tried holding my other phone with the glass back and this phone in terms of the in hand feel it doesn't feel like a typical plastic to be honest so the plastic back is practically not a thing of concern and because of the metal frame it pretty much feels solid in the hands so the fingerprint is not the fastest but I can definitely compare this to let's say my other phone the oneplus nord it's almost comparable like pretty much same I really haven't had an issue but don't expect that flagship level experience here also I'm not like wowed by the haptic feedback it is all right subtle again I can compare this to something like my oneplus nord nothing really special I would say so generally people spending over 30 40 K they either go with the oxygen os on the oneplus or one ui on the samsung or you have the iphones but people generally don't tend to buy the miui or other sort of skins around this price range because software experience matters a lot in this category in my opinion here one ui doesn't disappoint and the performance with the snapdragon processor the 865 it's pretty good the camera setup is very practical and useful you have the wide angle and the telephoto there's no nonsensical 2MP cameras, uh, the depth or the macro cameras, which is good. Also, the wide angle seems to have that distortion around the corners, uh, fish, fish eye lens effect sort of thing, which is common with wide angles, but I'll have to test out more. 
With the latest update, it seems there are more features added to the camera as well. So I'll have to check all of them out and also I'll try to post some images and samples as well. I definitely feel it's a very good value for money around 40,000 considering you also get a good software update support as well. So this was my quick unboxing and first impressions video. Please like this video guys. Also subscribe for more such content. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon.